Hello everyone! This week I'm not out on the water, but I'm here at the soon-to-be new home of Beit Chavarim, the Westport Synagogue, here in Westport, Connecticut. Now this week's Parsha is Parsha Pinchas. And the overarching message that I took out of this week's Parsha was the importance of values. Not just from Pinchas himself, who, continuing the story from the end of last week's Parsha, impales two people to withstand, to uphold Torah values, rather from a very interesting Pasuk that comes up at the end of the third Aliyah of this week's Parsha. Now this Pasuk says that there were no men left, like the men, that, the men that left Egypt, there were none of these men left from the time Moshe and Aaron took the original census. Now Rashi asks the obvious question, he says, everyone knows this already, from the sin of the spies, right? No man in, if that, was, that, left is, that left Egypt was able to enter Israel, right? We all know this, why repeat it? So Rashi says, it's really to set the stage for the next part of the, with this week's Parsha, the Benot Slovchad. These girls who had no brothers and their father passed away and they wanted to inherit land, their father's land in Israel. Now it shows that even though during the sin of the spies, even though 10 spies came back with such a negative message about the land of Israel, that was only a message taken by the men. And really, the women didn't fall for these 10 spies. Rather, they saw the value in, in the land of Israel. They saw the land flowing of milk and honey. And therefore, the Benot Slovchad, these, these women that come up right, right then as the next story in this week's Parsha, right, we see that the women still see this value in the land of Israel, and they still want to inherit land, even though they had no one to inherit it for them. So this week's Parsha really culminating, putting it all together in terms of values, it ends with Shemini Atzeret, which today we all know as Shemini Atzeret, Simchas Torah, right? The time of the year where we celebrate the Torah. We celebrate our ultimate guidebook, our ultimate book that gives us our value system that we practice every, sec every single second of our lives. And that's why I thought taking this week's video from this spot right here was very appropriate. Because right here behind me, we're building a center, a place to not just find spirituality, not just to find a good Kiddush or a good L'chaim, but rather it's to set our va value system in each and every one of our lives, a value system of Torah. And that can only be put in place by really spending time here in an amazing center, an amazing shul like this. So I give everyone a bracha that we're able to really find the, the right value system in our lives to really see what's worthwhile to seek after and what's not what's worth our time and what's not. And with that, I wish you all a Shabbat Shalom. If you would like to hear more about this project or come visit, please let us know. And again, I wish you all a Shabbat Shalom.